Tonight, the Cal Alumni Association is proud to recognize Eric Schmidt as the 2012 Alumnus of the Year. Well, I was a very nerdy student. I was a programmer. But to combat the image that people had of engineers, I, of course, had my motorcycle with my black leathers. So I would go to computer science class in my leather outfit with my helmet in hand. It certainly made me a lot cooler. Much of computer science at the time was very theoretical, and I was interested in doing things, making things happen. And Berkeley was an unusual combination of some of the best theoreticians in the world, as well as very strong programs around making things happen, literally writing code to change the world. After earning his master's degree and PhD in electrical engineering and computer science from Cal, Eric Schmidt went on to work at some of the world's most influential companies. He came out, of course, as a technical person and started, I think, at Sun as a software manager, but moved all the way up to vice president and then president of some divisions, became CEO of Novell, right, competed heavily with Microsoft in a very interesting space, and eventually, of course, became the CEO of Google, which really is the epitome of an incredible path. I, I think he really knew what it took to have a, a company with a good internal dynamic as well as uh, an openness to the climate of technological innovation that was there in the valley. That is not an easy balance to strike. That's really Eric's strength. He's very thoughtful, he gets things done, and he's great at uh, communicating with, with people and building consensus and understanding. Google felt very much like a startup company, even as we were growing into the hundreds and thousands of people. Uh, and I think that's because of the way uh, Eric was able to lead. The goal of Google, of course, is to have all of the world's information available to everybody. A particularly good set of customers for that are universities. Much of the email systems and other document systems were now powered by Google for universities, including Berkeley. So from my perspective, the sort of the technology that I helped build when I was a Berkeley graduate student is now going back to Berkeley now that we're here at Google. Throughout his career, Eric Schmidt has kept strong ties to Berkeley, serving on the College of Engineering Advisory Board and the Electrical Engineering and Computer Science Industrial Advisory Board for more than a decade. Google as a company has helped fund a number of research initiatives within Berkeley, as well as, of course, the mo perhaps the most important thing, which is providing jobs for the top graduates. And we love that. The fact that we have such a close relationship with Berkeley, its faculty members and its students, is one of the proudest things from my career here at Google. I think it's always been a two-way street with Eric in Berkeley. And I think he feels like that's how you stay connected in Silicon Valley, right? The universities are the source. The students at Berkeley really are the future in a very palpable sense. I distinctly remember it was about seven or eight years ago when he really encouraged us to think strongly about creating a professional master's degree, a really high-touch professional master's degree. He had a discussion with us about how to educate engineering leaders, which is how do you teach students to not only learn about the rudiments of technology, but to also weave them into the fabrics of business. In 2010, those recommendations became reality when the Fung Institute for Engineering Leadership opened its doors to engage a new class of engineering leaders. It's so exciting to be able to participate in the creation of something brand new. One of the messages that's most important to deliver, in my view, is that the way America gets out of its current mess is through innovation. And the way innovation occurs is because of those two or three graduate students working hard in the lab with their favorite young assistant professor, and they discover something new. That's how real wealth is created. Solve a new problem, whether it's in computers, or in energy, or in many of the other things that Berkeley is a leader in. Congratulations, Eric Schmidt, the 2012 Alumnus of the Year. This is perhaps the most significant award I'm likely to get in my life, simply because it ties the beginning and the end of my professional career. Berkeley was the place that taught me how to operate at this level. Berkeley was the place that gave me the aspiration to do what I have been able to do. And Berkeley introduced me to the people who made that happen. 
I had no idea that all of that was going to occur the day I showed up at Berkeley, but thank God it did.